Hey, it's John from Ride Up State, and I got a flat in the tire on my eMove Cruiser. And so I want to show you how to plug a tire, uh, not patch it, not use that slime, but actually plug it. This is actually better than slime because later on down the road, when you're going to need to remove the tire, you're not going to have the slime in there that's going to make the tire bind to the rim and make it harder to come off. All right, so let's talk about what you're going to need. You're going to need a plug kit. Now, this particular plug kit doesn't come with rubber cement, but make sure you buy one with rubber cement. I already have some rubber cement from an old plug kit. So that's your plug kit. You're going to need to find the hole. So you're going to need some kind of soapy water or something to spray on the tire to find out where it's leaking from and you're going to need a crayon or an oil pastel so that you can circle the spot. A few tools you're going to need. You're going to need um, something to pull whatever is making the hole in your tire. And if you want, you might want some mechanics gloves just to keep, because this stuff is sticky, just to keep it off. Um, we're going to go over to the scooter here real quick, and we're going to take a look at plugging that tire. Okay, so I've prepared my work area here by putting some newspaper down. If you're doing this outside, you don't really need to worry about it. So you're gonna to need to find the leak. Sometimes it's gonna be obvious there's gonna be a screw or a nail or something like that in the tire. If it's not so obvious, what you wanna do is inflate your tire. Um, I've got a Ryobi cordless inflator here and I'll go ahead and inflate this tire up to the specified PSI. All right, close enough. We'll leave that cap off because we're going to lose air. And then you're going to want to use your soapy water or something like that. Now, like I said, I know actually where the problem is. But what you would do is you would spray the surface of your tire until you see any bubbles forming. And as you can see there, there's bubbles coming out of that tire. So we know that that's where the puncture is. So we're going to get our materials ready. And we're going to use our needle nose pliers here to remove this piece of metal. Um, one thing that's helpful, which I didn't do here, is to circle that location because you may not um, be able to find it once you remove whatever's causing the puncture. And there you go. I don't know if you can see that or not. That's all that it took. All right, so now we're going to take our reamer. And it's going to seem like you're making the problem worse. But this is actually helpful. So we're going to take our reamer, spray a little more on there. There's our bubbles. We're going to ream out this hole. Oh, this thing's thick. Okay, we've reamed out our hole. Gonna put our plug here. Pull that through. I'm gonna take our rubber cement, and I like to put it right on the plug itself. And then we're going to take the tool with the plug on it. Goes in. So once you've got it in and you're going to have to you're going to have to angle it because of how long the plug is. You give it a quick pull and it comes right off. Once you've pulled it off, you can cut off the excess. okay if there's a little bit left over it's going to get smushed down and then you want to reinflate your tire 
and check for a leak. Find our patch, give it a spray, and there are no more air bubbles. So our tire has been successfully patched. And that's all there is to plugging the tire on your E-Move Cruiser. And if you own a car, you can do the same thing on your car as long as it's not in the sidewall. I don't recommend doing this on the sidewall of your tire. My name is John from Ride Upstate. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this when it comes out, please subscribe. Thanks. Bye.